What's going on, all you wild gunslingers? <laughs> Your two favorite Western enthusiasts back here for Cinefels. I'm Logan Myers, my good mate over there. And I'm Henry Hill, and tonight we're talking about a brand new Western. You don't really talk about these films nowadays, whether you're talking about Yellowstone or, you know, we don't see a lot of Westerns nowadays. But anyways, Nicolas Cage, in his first role, his dream role, he always wanted to do a Western, and he stars as Colton Briggs in... The old way. Ba-ding. You boys woke up the devil. Yeah, that's right, Nick Cage, the man, the myth, the legend. Nicholas Cage! You know, the man that's notorious for freaking out over the years, but he's finally doing a passion project, being a Western, and playing this guy, this gunslinger. He's basically brought back in. Him and his daughter are facing, you know, consequences of his past. Uh, this guy that Nick Cage murdered, um, his son comes after him, seeking revenge. So that's why they're kind of setting it up here with the bad guy, but, you know, running the mill Western. But, hey, Nick Cage playing this character is really interesting and fun right from the get-go of the film. You know, there's a cliche scene with the saloon, and the guy falls off the balcony, you know, and he shoots him. And <laughs> yes. a lot of, just like, you yeah. know, like a spaghetti Western, you know, a lot of classic, you know, scenes like that. But it's fun. You can tell Nick Cage is definitely having a great time in this role. Absolutely. It's you know, really the all, main and only reason I wanted to watch this was Nicolas Cage in a Western, finally. You know, we have never seen this this actor, you know, Academy Award nominee, and nowadays, you know, he just basically does work to be wild and make a lot of money. You know, he doesn't choose him for Oscar roles or anything. But it was pretty interesting to know that this was his dream was to do a Western. And after all these years, he finally made it happen in this film. And yeah, he is chewing up scenery in this. You know, a lot of it feels like it's a direct to DVD Western. It feels very generic and hollow, but you know, it's, it still does get the point across and it feels like something you've seen before. Um, but, uh, Nicholas Cage's presence and being the main actor in this is enough to, uh, make me excited for it and i give it a watch and overall mixed feelings but uh not terrible the great aspect of this movie is really the relationship with his daughter played uh, by ryan kirk armstrong which was in firestarter from last year it's getting a lot of buzz around right now a little controversy having to do with the razzies and naming her the worst actress since she's only 12 and you know just a lot of stuff going on with that but she, i thought she was really great in this movie you know she, she had a great relationship with her father being nicholas cage and what they're going through with the death of their mother and a lot of stuff on the line and a bad guy trying to kill him at the same time. But uh, I thought she really played this character well and they really fed off one another and really was the heart of the movie. The rest of it was kind of your standard run of the mill Western movie, the bad guy shootouts, you know, more bad guys, things like that. But the, the heart of the movie really is the relationship between the two. Yeah. The two of them definitely work very well together. They really anchor the movie. Your villains are your cookie cutter Western villains. Really. It's the same story you've seen before. Um, the actor that they chose for the villain was actually on another Western. He was on Yellowstone, 1883. Um, I recognized him. And you also have some really, uh, you know, cool cameos and roles being filled by like old actors that we haven't seen a lot of, including Clint Howard. And we also saw um, Abraham Ben Ruby in there, too, uh, who we last saw in uh, Christmas, Bloody Christmas. Um, he was in there in a role as one of the bad guys. So interesting to see. But, you know, overall, this it didn't have anything uh, in it that made me say, man, that was really spectacular. It was just kind of like, OK, that was a Western. Nicolas Cage is in it. That's cool. But not a movie that I'm going to be like, man, everybody has to see this. This is one of the classics. You know, it's not like that. It's not that good. <laughs> Definitely not, but you know, we got to see Nick Cage in a Western playing a gunslinger. I think that's pretty cool. We've seen it. Now I'm good. Don't want to see it again. Unless it's, you know, a really good script, but this one just didn't have it. Just, you know, bland, hollow, as you said, you know, a movie, a story we've seen and heard of before. Um, and just really some of the performances between him and his daughter played by Ryan Kira Armstrong really really sell the movie the rest of it just kind of forgettable for the most part, but you know, it's definitely worth a watch at least once just to check it out and Nick Cage doing his, favorite nick cages uh so that being said i'm gonna give the old way i'm gonna give it a three out of five nick cage hair pieces and i'm gonna give it the same thing three out of five clint howard hair pieces whoa heavens where'd my hair go so i want to hear from all you western <laughs> enthusiasts out there what did you like about the old way what didn't you like about it let us know in the comments below and don't forget to click 
Subscribe. Subscribe. Also, check out these wild rascals on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and our website, cinefellas.com, for the latest, greatest TV movie news and reviews. I mean, this is one of those movies that came at, at the right time. Not a lot happening in January. It's kind of, you know, we're looking forward to The Last of Us, more TV shows right now before the summer blockbuster and, you know, it starts picking up. So not a lot to watch. And this popped up, you know, digitally. And uh, I'm glad we got gave this a watch. It's fun, you know, seeing Nicolas Cage in a Western. You're never going to see it again. It's funny seeing him with the fake, you know, phony mustache in the beginning. It looks like it's barely glued on. <laughs> it's very, very funny. And uh but, you know, overall, it's fun, but it's forgettable. But definitely watch it one of these nights. It's it's cool. Give Uncle Nick your attention. And uh, I'm glad that he's doing these roles. It's cool to see him this far into his career. You know, he could have called it a day many years ago and just gave up. But no, he keeps going. He keeps getting crazier and crazier and uh, going for different things as he gets older. And I'm I'm interested to see what his career is going to be like within the next, you know, 20 years. That's it for the Cinefellas interview. I'm Logan Myers, my good mate over there. And I'm Henry Hill. We got to get back to the saloon and take a shot of whiskey. So until the next Cinefellas movie review, cheers, cheers. partner.